Howdy folks, this is Zach Schneff from photocastgadia.com and today I'm going to be talking about printing from Photoshop. Uh, when you are printing from Photoshop there are a number of settings that you need to set correctly to get the uh, results you're going to be looking for. And we're going to go through this today. Uh, one thing I should mention before we get started one of the first steps uh, anyone should do who's serious about printing themselves or even when you're gonna have somebody else print your uh, images is you need to have your monitor calibrated um, I use the i1 display 2 and that's a fantastic product works fantastic and I've had great results with it this is important because it lets you know that what you're seeing is what will print. So, you know, is yellow yellow? Is it going to look yellow? Um, and, and every other color. So that's what a monitor calibration system will do for you. We'll make sure that your monitor and printer are speaking the same language. It's like a translator. So um, that is the absolute most important first step. Calibrate your monitor. Then the next step is processing your image properly, having the tools and, and skills to do that. And, and then uh, once you do have an image ready, like I have here, this one is ready to print. So let me walk you through the steps I take to prepare an image uh, for printing and then all the settings you need to set. So first thing, I'm actually going to flatten this image down. Um, and that's just going to make it easier for me here. So I will quickly flatten it. Um, if you need to know how to do that, just go up to the layer menu and you would choose flatten image. Once I flatten this image, I need to resize it. So um, I'm aiming for a 12 by 18 destination size. So I can do that one of two ways. I can use the crop tool and you can see you can just dial in the specs up here 12 by 18 and you can just drag it out and you can see it would just crop off a little bit off of the bottom and, and that would actually work probably just fine um, but the other method I think is gonna work better in this particular case and that's gonna be using the image size tool and just changing the aspect ratio a little bit um, so the first step I'm gonna turn resample off and I'm gonna get this as close as I can to the destination size so that's pretty close I always aim for a little bit bigger so that when I change the aspect ratio I'm downsizing instead of up -resing. so I aim for something just a little bit bigger and then I turn resample back on and you want to make sure that you have constrained proportions turned off because I'm going to change the aspect ratio by getting rid of this little bit of leftover here and now this will change it to a 12 by 18 and you'll notice it'll squish it in just a little bit yeah you notice it changed the aspect ratio just a little bit and once I have that done we're now ready to jump into the print dialog box so I'm gonna choose print and once I'm here in the print dialog, there's a number of settings that are very important to set correctly. Um, I always save this, uh, tell it to send it as 16-bit. If that's available to you, set that. Um, probably the most important setting in the whole color management dialog here is uh, this one. You want to make sure that you have Photoshop managing your colors, not your printer. Another really important setting is your profile. You want to make sure you're using the proper ICC profile for the paper and printer combination that you're using. Uh, most paper companies uh, build profiles for you to use or you can have a custom profile built. Uh, I'm using Crane's Museo Silver Rag paper so I'm going to use the proper profile for that paper. For the rendering intent I just use relative color metric. I've heard other people like other settings here. Um, relative color metric works great for me for most uh, papers. So once those are set correctly um, and you have the proper printer selected up here, I'm using the Epson 7900, 
um, we can hit this print settings and that will open up our printer driver. So I'm using the Epson 7900 so this is specific to this printer but most of these settings should be pretty similar if you're using a Canon or HP or whatever. So first thing I want to check um, you can build presets here and, and that will be a, a time saver for you. All these settings can be saved and you can reload them. But I'm going to choose the paper size first. So we're printing a 12 by 18. Um, I could even I could either be doing a custom size and print from a roll or I can use a sheet of 13 by 19 paper. And that's what I'm going to choose to do for this particular size and this particular image. So I'm going to choose 13 by 19 and I want to choose sheet so it'll know to print from the sheet feeder. Uh, then I'm going to choose print settings and I need to make sure my media type is set properly for um, Cranes Museo uh, Silver Rag you actually set it to luster um, different papers have different settings so you want to make sure to read the, the directions for whatever paper you're using um, I leave all these settings yeah this just set to AccuPhoto HDR and color mode you want to make sure this is off so you're not getting double profiling happening and, and uh, ending up with wonky colors then you need to set your output resolution for this particular printer and paper combination I use the highest uh, 2880 DPI I leave high speed checked um, I've turned high speed off and and tested and I've noticed no difference so I just leave it on. Um, you don't need to choose the uh, finest detail setting here um, from what I've been told that's actually for graphic design and text and stuff like that to get really sharp lines so for photography I think you can just leave it unchecked. Uh, once I'm done with all that I hit save And once I get back here, I make sure that all my settings are correct. Again, I just double check. Uh, Photoshop is managing the colors. I have the proper profile uh, and relative color metric. And I also have black point compensation checked as well. And you're ready to hit print. So that wraps it up. Those are the really important settings to make sure you get. It sounds complicated, and it kind of is. But uh, once you get the hang of it, it's uh, it's no big deal. Oh yeah, and you can also center the image like I just did there. That sometimes helps. So, thank you, and goodbye.